In this video, we're going to examine a couple of common mistakes that we could encounter when lead climbing. And Cecile is kind enough to demonstrate these mistakes for us. First, we have back clipping. As you can see, Cecile is clipping in with her side of the rope, the climber side, exiting the carabiner facing the wall. Now, if she climbs above this point of protection and then falls, the rope could strike the carabiner gate, forcing it to open up and thus releasing the rope. So let's just turn it around so that the rope exits the carabiner away from the wall so that she could safely continue the climb. Now as Cecile moves up to the next clip, she calls out for slack, then immediately grabs the rope to clip in. But as you can see, she's been shorted. There's not enough slack in the rope system for her to reach the clip. And that's because she failed to wait for her belayer to provide her with enough slack. The key here is that after calling for slack, Cecile holds on to the wall for about three seconds. That way the belayer has enough time to provide her with the appropriate amount of rope. Then when she reaches down to grab the rope, she'll be able to immediately clip in. Another issue to point out here concerns a potential danger to your teeth. Notice how Cecile bites on the rope, and sometimes climbers will use their teeth to help gather up slack. The danger is, when falling, your body will tense up. And if you fall when the rope is in your mouth, you might end up biting down on the rope. As a result, you could lose some teeth. So, if you ever bite on the rope, be prepared to spit it out on a fall. Now we're back to climbing, and as the seal seeks out her next footholds, she inadvertently lets the rope slip behind her right foot. The danger here is that if she falls, her foot and leg could get tangled in the rope, causing her to tumble upside down and out of control. She could end up hitting her head and back against the wall. So once this mistake is spotted, Cecile properly reorients her foot to get the rope in front of her body, and then she continues to climb. Thanks, Cecile, for that fine demonstration. 